Boom, what up y'all, it's your man Scott Stockton with Scott Stockton Photography and today I'm going to show y'all how to do the ring of fire technique. Um, to do this, um, I mean it's fairly simple uh, cost wise, I mean what achieves the effect is this little copper pipe which you can get from Lowe's or Home Depot or any hardware store, it costs like two dollars, I mean really cheap, okay. Um, the main thing that you need to have to try to get this shot is patience, right? Um, as far as lenses go to get this shot, I recommend anything from like a 35, a 50, and an 85. Anything wider or anything more uh, telephoto, uh, I just haven't had many good results with it. Um, I don't have a 35, uh, so I have the, the 24 G Master here, which... Uh, I don't think I've used for this, uh, if so, maybe once or twice, but I don't find the 24 to be as effective. I have used 35s uh, before and they've been just fine. Uh, I have the Sigma 85-14 DGDN lens. Um, I honestly haven't used this much for that either. Uh, the, the, the thing I use the most is the, the new Sony 50 uh, 1.2. Um, right here, I got it on the A7 uh, R3. Um, so 35, 50, or 85. Now, it's pretty easy uh, as far as the steps go. The key is the time at when you're doing this. Um, I found that the best times to do the ring of fire technique is right when the sun, as it's dropping, right when it gets parallel to you. Okay, so on the horizon line, it's right parallel with you. And you'll know it by the color of the sun. There's many times where uh, the sun is coming down, but it's still really bright. And to my eyes, it just comes off as white, right? As soon as the sun starts to get that nice orange color, just take that as a sign from nature that it's time. Okay, and it's fairly easy, but it does involve like a, a bit of playing around and trickery. I just tell my couples uh, straight up, hey, just uh, have patience with me. I'm going to let you stand there. I'm going to play around for a little bit. As soon as I get everything set up, I'm going to put you in a pose or give you a prompt, and we're going we're gonna to create some fire, right? It just involves taking your camera, holding it, and then putting the copper pipe just a little bit in front of the lens. Now, you're going to have to do a lot of like moving around like this just so that the sun hits it just right. So that's why I'm saying that it takes some patience. Um, but after you've done it enough, um, you kind of figure out the sweet spots and how to get it. But the first time you're doing it, it, it is kind of tricky. But that's why I say uh, temper or set the expectations to your clients. Like, this is a really cool shot, but it's obviously I'm playing around with a copper pipe. So, you know, this could be a bit tricky, right? And the sun. So everything has to be a little bit kind of right, a little bit of a Goldilocks zone for you to pull this off. Um, there are ways that you can get kind of a cool effect uh, with the sun not being where it should be and the color it should be. You can still create some cool images. But for me, um, it, during those times, it's kind of just some, some bright flares coming off. If you want to get the, the true ring effect, I find that the sun needs to be parallel and the color needs to be that, that nice, uh, pretty orange. And then once that's there, you get your couple posed how you want, and then it's just like a bit of a playing game. You're sliding this back and forward, bringing it here, maybe angling it different ways to kind of get the composition how you want it. And uh, after you do it a few times, I mean, you got it, and it produces really cool images. So those are my tips on how to get the ring of fire. Um, I've been putting a few examples throughout this video, and I'll put some more after. If you have any questions, dude, hit me in the comments, hit me in the DMs, hit me in the face, and I'm going to get at you. Thanks for tuning in. So this can make like a gold ring, but the sun has to be at a specific height. So let me see. So you have to take you have to take the lens hood off and you'll hold this really close. You don't let it touch the glass, but you'll be holding it like like this. And you'll just kind of move your, your camera and it until you feel like you try to get something that might be kind of cool. But it's a take your time kind of thing. 
Whew. People are so stupid. So, I get it pretty close. Right? Okay. So it's pretty. It's just a cool circle. That's kind of cool. So you just, I would you just play with it like, ooh, that's cool. It, it's, it's all about just kind of, like there's no perfect science to this. It's just about playing. So hold this, and for shots like this, you don't rush them. You have patience, and you because you know it's going to take a hot minute. It might take a few seconds, but it's worth it if, once you take the time. You holding the... Here, do it again. So what you yeah, there, you hold it lower. Oh yeah, look back. I love that. One, two, three. Keep that. Oh, focus. Keep doing that though. It's gonna work. Beautiful, hold that, one, two, three. Oh. This will take us, this looks amazing once I get it. It's just bobbing and weaving with the sun. You gotta get your kiss mouth ready. Be a little taller. Okay, hold that. Ooh, hold that. Beautiful. One, two, three. I'm going to come I'm in a little closer. That sounds weird, but put your nose on this side. Yep. Okay, do what you did a second ago. You both had your hands. You were holding each other's hands in the middle while you were looking at each other. Mm -hmm. Try that for me. Yeah, before y'all went to kiss, you were holding your hands just kind of in the middle like that, looking at each other. 